Hey guys and welcome back to another Common Lisp tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to create a program outside of the Common Lisp interpreter and then run it inside the Common Lisp interpreter. Uh, now this makes it a lot easier to actually write code instead of just being a single line. You can make it a f full long lines of code without having to uh, hit enter every time and have it give you a value. So um, basically all you're going to need is a really any text editor as long as you can save as a dot lisp lisp file which I'll explain in a second so I'm just gonna go right click new and text document so I'm just gonna use good old notepad I'm gonna rename this to add dot lisp uh, it's gonna ask you if you want to change it I'm gonna say yes now right now it's gonna give you this little symbol that means it doesn't know what to do and when you click on it, it's going to say Windows cannot open this file because it doesn't know what to open it with. Now the way you're going to fix this is you're going to go to start run and then you're going to type in CMD and click OK. Now on the command line you're going to type ASSOC which is a SOC which is short for association and then you type space dot lisp equals txt file now what this is going to do is it's going to associate anything with the ext file extension dot lisp with the text file so it's going to open any dot lisp file in a uh, text document form and as you can see it's just going to open up a blank text document now you don't have to set it um, as dot lisp I just find it easier because it um, helps me remember and helps me keep organized the fact that it's a um, list file and it's one of my programs or something like that. Now inside of here, if you watch my last tutorial, uh, I'm just going to uh, create a basic adding function. We use the same exact function. Add A and B and then we're going to have it add together A and B. And save this and we exit out of that. Now I'm going to open up my uh, common lisp interpreter and uh, in here right now as you can see if I type in add and do like 6 and 4 it's going to give me an error because it doesn't know what the function add is it says it's that add is undefined because it does not exist um, but the way I'm going to load it into this um, interpreter is by opening parenthesis load then quotation mark add dot list so all you gotta do is type load and then quotation marks within quotation marks the name of the file. Now the only reason you put the quotation marks here is because if uh, your file, ex file name has a space in it and uh, you don't put quotations around it it's gonna give you an error because it's gonna think it's multiple uh, things. So just remember to put quotations around it just as a precaution. And then an ending parenthesis here. Now we're gonna get we're going to hit enter and it's going to say loading add.lisp finish loading add.lisp if it's a really really large file it's going to say loading for a little bit then it's going to say finish loading um, now that we're done loading that we can go to add and then 5 plus 10 and it's going to actually do it 15 I can even use the example I used 4 so eight, add 6 and 4 it's going to give me 10 so as you can see we've successfully loaded a file into Lisp. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, please comment and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. You could PM me, or I have an AIM account devoted completely to you guys, which is called CP Answer Man. C P A N S W E R M A N Answer Man. C P Answer Man, which is just like Computer Answer Man. I don't know. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Bye.